I'm pretty sure that we have this cleared, but man, look at these guys go. That is pretty sweet to see all the infantry and the and the vehicles kind of push it up with him here. Oh, that's pretty epic. Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to the next game of War Game European Escalation. So this mission takes place immediately after the last episode, which is why I'm not going into like a story or anything like that at the very beginning. In fact, going back and playing that one uh, was like kind of cool because I noticed that it uses the same map. This refinery that I have to assault uh, is, is like hidden in the previous episode on that map, but it's still there. Anyway, getting the defensive perimeter set up here. It's something I do at the beginning of each one uh, of these missions, just in case the computer decides to make a, a mad rush for us right here. So I'm putting that recon helicopter up front, taking some T-55s. We're going to have them line uh, this hill here. There's some, some cover that they can get into. We'll get some, some infantry over here as well, just down on, on this particular part, because what's nice is if anybody does rush over, well, the infantry is at super close range. We also got VDV units for this one. Uh, you got the blue berets and everything here, so you know it's legit. We've got some MI8s too, which is honestly really cool. I love these things. One of the things I'm trying to do, emphasis on trying uh, in my spare time, is to learn how to fly an MI8 DCS world, but man, that is intense. I mean, I'd love to be able to do videos in like virtual reality of me flying like a Huey, an MI-8, uh, or some of those aircraft, but when it's that realistic and you have to learn what buttons to press in what particular order, it has like the highest learning curve of any game ever, so I'm, I'm struggling. I just might wait for their new game to come out here, which one of the things I was most excited about, gosh, that's a beautiful helicopter, was a, a simplified control system. That'll be nice. Anyway, we're going to drop up the VDV units uh, right up here, kind of close to this intersection. I'll set uh, two of the units in the building to the front and two units in the building to the back here, just in case they end up getting by that first group. We've got the second group that should be able to take them out here. They are definitely uh, ready to go against any armored units since they do have RPGs. What I might have to do, though, is uh, if they do start taking contact actually we'll group them together uh, if they do start taking contact I'm gonna have to rush a supply vehicle up there to make sure that they get reinforcements and resupplied and everything too uh, this particular mission like I mentioned is to capture this refinery and one of the side objectives oh hey self-propelled artillery we're gonna have to tackle that let's get some choppers in here uh, is to not lose more than 10 units which is tough, uh, which means I'm definitely going to not go with the typical Soviet strategy of just rush in there uh, as quickly as you can and as aggressively as possible to try and take it out because a uh, direct assault here on this particular position that's, you know, very close quarters is, is not going to go well for me. It's definitely going to be, sorry, an advantage to the defenders here. All right. I will be honest with you guys while I'm doing this. I'm dreading doing this mission here because of how long uh, this one is, especially when I'm trying to play smart. So, uh, oh, hey, here we go. Gosh, we took one of those out here on the very first shot. That's kind of rare to see. There's another one down. Oh, he's getting a uh, missile off here. But he missed, so we're good. See, that's why I get the, the perimeter set up here, and really there's only one way that they can come at me, considering there's a bridge that they have to cross to be able to get to my zone of control, that bridge right there. Um, but anyway, using this hill for, for cover, staying on this side of it means I can sneak up here and nobody's going to notice anything. So I hope that I can just get my infantry out here like this, and then we're going to go ahead and rush them up into uh, those trees here, and we're going to go and search of that self-propelled artillery in here these guys should definitely do it got bmps too to kind of give them some cover and stuff like that oh, what are those rockets it's got to be my choppers are they send in more this way yep t55s 
in the trees over there. Okay, my MI-24s should do the job here at being able to at least suppress them if these rockets... Yeah, my missiles aren't, aren't doing their job here. They're not close enough. I probably have to move them up a little bit more if I want those shots to be effective. Ah, but no need. I had plenty of T-55s up there. Okay, we'll keep those moto truckies moving up here. T-62 is coming out, so this is perfect getting the helicopters into this position here. We'll have eight T-55s. My choppers, and then uh, we've got some other... Other vehicles there too. We'll get some more choppers in. Okay, so one of the T-62s has a weapon jam. No, oh, the one I just destroyed, of course. Still nothing going on on the left side. Okay, that guy's routing, which means hopefully my tanks will be able to get some shots on it as it's pushing back. There we go. We are clear again. All right, time to get some... Missiles, rockets, all of that put back in there. Infantry is moving up. Still not spotting them yet. Move the BMP-1s up here too. Uh, I'm not concerned too much about the self-propelled artillery taking out the BMP-1s. Uh, what I am worried about though is if they pop their heads out and there's something over here that I'm missing. Uh, maybe something can hit them from long range from within the refinery or something like that. I don't want to lose the BMP-1s. Looks like we've got a patrol going around the exterior of the refinery. That's that UAZ, the ZSUs and everything. We've got gunships on the inside of the refinery, some BRDM-2s. So it does look like it is going to be heavily fortified. Another thing, by the way, is I cannot use artillery inside of the refinery or I lose one of the side objectives. And you guys all know, oh, there it is. You guys know how much I love artillery in this game. Okay, they've taken one down. They're going to get another one here pretty quick. Here comes the BMPs to the rescue. All right, there we go. And we got the supply vehicle. Perfect. So I'll get refueled and resupplied. The ZSUs are, are pushing out here. Now, the question is, how am I going to tackle these guys? Best way is probably going to be to go with some self-propelled artillery of my own. We'll get uh, these little weaklings here. We have not seen combat yet and pop them in here just because at that range we'll, we'll be able to take out those ZSUs no problem and then that's going to open up really the left side uh, for the helicopters things like that to kind of move through another objective that I have is to clear out three different zones and that's what I'm going to do first because I want to surround the refinery uh, make sure that the only units that exist or will exist are the ones that are on the map. So that's what I'm going to be doing is just trying to surround this thing. And that's what takes so long in this mission to do. Like, honestly, guys, I've got water right here because I know at some point my voice is going to start going. Uh, this is a marathon of a mission. In fact, what I might do at some point, not going to say when, because I don't know when, I'm going to just say a word. And if you guys figure out what the word is, put it in the comment section. Whoever gets it first will, will get a get their comment pinned. Or whatever the word is, I will pin that comment. Okay, so that is the rule of this one for you guys hanging through this. Okay, we're going to wait for those guys to get there. There's no time limit on this one either, so that's another reason why I don't feel like I have to rush. I could be smart about this. I just take as much time as I need. Now, it has been a while since I've played this. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there is anybody in some of these, like that clump of trees over to the right. Um, but regardless, I'm moving left here. Now, this... Uh, there's a zone off to the left of these guys, which will give me uh, an extra two command units or two command points, I guess, which will bring me from one to three, which will be nice to be able to bring uh, some more forces in here. I mean, I've got a good defense, but if I'm really going to try and take this, uh, this refinery, 
I'm going to have to have a lot more than this. Okay, so we'll move these guys up here. You could see the closer we get to that red ring is starting to, to shrink. Just showing your accuracy increases the closer that you are. I'll just have to be careful that I don't get too close uh, because this does have a minimum range at which it has to fire what you're seeing right there. So I'm just trying to be a little conscious of that here as we move up. And I'm going to aim right for the UAZ in the middle. That way any damage from the area or something like that will, will also impact on the other two. Okay, still doing good. I might stop these guys here in just a second. Almost. Cool. That'll be good. Oh, they were still moving. Okay. We're going to sit here and watch this. This is seriously my favorite part of European Escalation. If you guys have not figured it out here from the other videos that I have posted, it's it's all about the arty, guys. All right. Two down. We've just got that one ZSU, which should be taken out with this. There we go. Cool. We're clear. We'll get him to, to stop firing here. And then we'll start moving up the helicopters a little bit to the left. We're going to move to that display or uh, to that zone here. And just make sure that it is clear of anybody before we start moving one of our own command units to it. And I'll have to kind of move in areas where I know we are uh, safe here just because those command units are like 180 command points. That's a lot to, to lose, especially at this stage. All right, we're going to take those guys out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Whew, that was a close call. I almost forgot. I cannot use artillery inside the refinery. The question is whether or not, though, that that is going to... Like, even though I aimed in there, I didn't fire in there. So I'm wondering if I'll still get that side objective here for not actually firing. Okay, recon element moving ahead of the MI-24P. Not seeing anything, which is perfect. So we'll be able to get one of our command units in there and, and capture that. Not only would I get the extra perk here of the command points, but that is a re or a, an insertion point here. So I'll be able to get some, some guys starting to come in that's pretty close to the refinery. I may even be able to come in from the west here. That might be the way that I end up moving. The question is, though, is if there's anybody still in like some of these buildings on the outside kind of protecting the way in there could be infantry in any of those buildings and that's why like I'm, I'm afraid about rushing in here because at close range the infantry definitely has the advantage over vehicles okay with the west basically taken care of or it looks like it here we're gonna move uh to the extreme northwest of the map where we have a point that i know is uh being held by the polish rebels here it's Ivan up there. That would be another another two if we can get it. But it is blue, which means they have a command unit in there, and they are getting uh, command points here. Ooh, what is this moving over here? Okay, five T-62s. Uh, these UAZ 469s are anti-tank units. So we'll let the MI-24 just go ahead and take care of them. We're going to move in, in phases here. So I'm going to get the... MI-24 is kind of rotating. So once these guys up front here have kind of used all of the weapons that they have, then I will go ahead and... Actually, let's move them up here a little more. I'll kind of cycle them out here. So this MI-24 will go back for resupply at the forward operating base close to where we started. And the next one moves up, so on and so forth. I think you guys get the idea here. Okay, UAZ. We should be able to take them out here with the guns. Don't need to go anti tank guided missile or anything on it save that one for these t62s like that see it's so much better okay i'm at critical here all right those guys are stunned 
think I got... Yep, that was my last shot. Is it going to hit? Oh, man. I went with... Uh, I fired at the one that was already pretty heavily damaged. Would have been nice if it went for the other one, and then I finished off the one that was already burning here with rockets. That guy's going to be routing here. Critical on rockets, but... Whew. Got him with the last one. Okay. So we're going to start moving him back here. Move this guy. We're going to move them up here. We're going to leave that MI-24D, that group of two right there. Just eh, Let's move them up, actually. I've already gone ahead and gotten rid of my idea of, of trying to have this operate in phases. Now, we've already got uh, some idea what we're going to face here. M106, M109. Got something, oh, T-55s off there to the back. There's probably one other group there, too. Okay. So now we'll start moving that guy back here to get rearmed and everything. Okay, move these guys a little bit closer here so we can get some good shots on them. Got to remain still, too. We're just going to go right to the edge of the map. Oh, there's something over there. What is that? Gosh. It sucks I can't fire on him. Ah, fuel leak. Dang it. Okay, that's not going to work nearly as well as I would have liked. Now that I know we've got somebody right there... I wasn't able to see what it was, but I know something is there. We kind of have to try and avoid that. So let's get these guys to this location. Still leaking fuel here for a while, but I I think they're going to be fine. Especially if I can keep them still. Gosh, they're missing so bad. Okay, there we go. Okay, left side's not, not good for us to move through, but we'll try and see if we can go right in the center of Ivan here. Ooh, M109. Target him and get that covered. On oh, M901 over there on the right side. Okay, we cannot just march up here on these guys. What if we could take out... Yeah, fall back, Recon. Fall back. If we could take out this M109 right on the edge here, that'll be perfect. Oh, the other vehicle, by the way, is the PT... 76B. So that recon vehicle here is probably what's allowing him to hit us. Okay, we're engaging the M901 on the right, the M109 on the left. Yes, there we go. Guided missile did the job. Let's see what we can do to try and take this guy out. Then I think we'll have a clear, clear path to the top part of the hill, which believe it or not is actually pretty important because from there, you know, you can get a, a better elevated position and look down on all the enemy. Somebody destroy this guy, please. There we go. Those rockets did the job. Okay, since both of these guys have been in the fight, we'll start moving them back here. Once these guys are out of rockets too, which should be pretty soon since they're at critical right now. Okay, now what I'm gonna have to do is get this UAZ right here. I mean, I've got this guy, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring, bring one of these uh, UAZs that I've already got in the map. Up here too. Uh, one of the guys will go take uh, Cheriton there on the left, and then I'll have another one move up to Ivan as soon as I can get this one clear. Okay, everybody's out. We'll have to get these guys resupplied here, so we'll drop them at the forward operating base. If that's a big if, uh, I can get. Or if I'm uh, stuck in a position here where I don't have access to supplies at a forward operating base, 
I mean, I could just bring in some logistics units, and that's where it'll be nice to have just a supply uh, units coming in here from these reinsert points that I'm trying to capture. You can see Ivan here is another one, and this will definitely be my staging point for taking the north of the map here. And my two is just going to hang out here for a while. The Leonid sector, and then Constantine to the north. Elena's up there too, but I don't think Elena is uh, held by by anybody and I don't think it gives any command points either so I don't know if I'll kind of move move that far and I yeah I don't know I don't think I need to bring in any more helicopters at this point I mean, six should be sufficient for what I'm trying to do I might need more though if I try and push to the north so that's the thing that I'm kind of balancing uh, through my head right here is how this is going to go all right, we're going to wait for them to get, looks like, refueled, rearmed, repaired. We'll say resupplied, too. They need they need their Twinkies. Okay? They've been sitting there munching on their Twinkies the entire time. They need more food. Okay, since nothing at all has happened right here, we're going to move these guys up uh, since I'm going to need them to kind of hold this sector a little bit. We'll get the uh, Motostrokies back in the BMP-1s. Uh, the self-propelled artillery. Let's keep these guys moving left for that reason. Guided missiles coming in, and whew, they both miss. Well, knowing that, UAZs, we're going to move far left, and we're going to hug the left part of the map. It's going to be the name of the game here. Maybe I could try to move some infantry in there, but... Even then, that'll be difficult for them to take out because they'll be in a very good defensive position. So I'd have to really outnumber them to take that, and I'd still lose a lot of my guys as they try to make that rush out there in the open, so not, not going to be worth it here. Okay. These guys are back. So let's start moving them up north. Over to Ivan. I don't see a forward operating base there, but you can see Leonid has two. So maybe I will have to keep this mobile resupply going here. Uh, could bring in logistics vehicles, stuff like that, if needed. All right, UAZs are almost at the point. Oh, they're kind of like running off the map here. Sorry, I had it click on that Microsoft likes to give me alerts sometimes guys and it frustrates the heck out of me all right position taken already see that the the points that I'm getting definitely coming in a lot faster now okay so I'm starting to get more momentum Gosh, Microsoft makes a sound and now my phone does. Oh, flash flood warning. Oh, cool. Thanks, world. Anyway. Move those guys. Ah, dang it. Another flash flood warning. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I'm not stopping this video for this. What, 24 minutes in? Yeah, no. Well, wish me luck, guys. It's been storming pretty bad. All right. Anyway, back to things that matter, like this game here. Okay. With the helicopter's back. We're going to first target the command vehicle. That is the one that is closest to us. Uh, actually, let's get these guys out. Yeah, they'll. We'll just cover those those command vehicles. Alright, MI-24 is taking out the command vehicle. Oh, they got upgraded to level 3. And T-55s will be the ones that we engage next. Just popping over the hill here and really not seeing anything at all. I kind of move up here. Gosh, 220, that was a huge loss for him, but that had to have been armored. Yeah, we don't even really have to 
move here to avoid these T-55s because they're not going to be able to return fire. We'll take out their recon. Once this T-55 is out, I think what I'll do is move that other UAZ. We'll kind of move him to the left here of Ivan so that way we can capture it and start get uh, more of these command points here. Come on, guys. Hold out for a little bit longer. I mean, the weapons is what I want to hold out. Gosh, ran out of rockets. Come on, AGGM. This is the last shot that they have, and it looks like it's going to miss. Of course. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. You can't even finish the job. Just because I don't want to use everything in that forward operating base. Let's get four of these. Yeah. We're going to go East German here. The T-813s. I mean, these guys can pack a lot. So I'll just pop them right there, and then we'll we'll bring these MI-24s back. Kind of land out there and, and get rearmed. Okay. Next group to come in. Oh wait, where'd, where'd that T-55 go? I mean, this, this recon helicopter is going to need to be refueled here. That's the one thing about these, these recon vehicles is, man, they, uh, they do not carry that much fuel with them. I mean, that probably is one of the things that they do to kind of balance things out a little bit more because I I don't know granted I'm not an expert on Soviet weapons but I can't imagine uh, that the MI2 had one-fifth of the flight duration of an MI24 like the operational range wouldn't have been one-fifth but eh, I don't know like I said I could very well be wrong Okay. Well, maybe I'll look that up here real quick. Okay. While I'm waiting for this resupply to take place. Am I too... We're going to learn this one together, guys. Oh, great. Mission Impossible 2. That's not what I was wanting to search. Okay, we're gonna try this again. MI2 helicopter, thank you. I hate to I hate to admit I'm going to Wikipedia for this one. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Wikipedia has a um, It has like a disclaimer, which is basically like it is not supposed to be used for academic purposes. Okay, range it says 440 kilometers. Okay, so 440. The MI-24. Specifications. 450. Knew it. 450 kilometers versus 440. Oh, well. I focused on that way too long. Anyway, we're moving up the UAZ. We're going to pop him right there. So he's got some cover in the corner. There is the T-55. We'll move this MI-24 in here to clear it out. And then we can start worrying about Leonid Sector over there. I'll probably get the MI-2... Because I, I don't know if the rest of this area is clear. Because you saw like the M901 and M109 that just popped out of nowhere. There's a strong chance we could see more of that here. I'm not being fired on. Which is a good sign. Let's move this MI2 up here. And the MI24 is there as well. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe it's a bigger discrepancy than that. Okay, now we're taking some fire. Hopefully the MI2s can take him out. Oh, V-150, come on. 
Come on. Gosh. Alright, transaxial hit. We're not going to have them hit the ground because if they hit the ground and land, then anything that might be around here can open up on them. So we definitely want to keep them, uh, keep them flying. Here comes the other MI-24s to the rescue. Okay, we're going to get these guys moving in together. We're going to engage at the same time here. If they'll let me... Come on, dude. you got to pop up. Seriously, this one thing is forcing six MI-24s to fall back. How embarrassing is that? At least we know something's here. Yeah, fall back. Gosh. Yeah, that one's about to be destroyed. That is an embarrassing engagement. Okay, so we have Ivan now. Get away from him. How is that dude able to fire through all those trees? AI bias. That's what I'm saying right here. I'd say Soviet bias, but we're technically both Soviets. I mean, this is Polish rebels, but... They're all running Soviet equipment and stuff. Okay, we're going to send uh, some BMP-1s. The, the nice thing about capturing Ivan is my guys will be able to just pop in right here, so it won't be that much of a problem for us to kind of get some forces in here to clear this out. I may suffer some casualties, of course, but bring a recon vehicle in here as well. But luckily, since we hold all of these positions over here, we'll be able to get units basically right when we need them we won't have to wait too long because i could go and i could bring in some tanks and stuff like that right here too but i'm hoping that the bmp ones uh will be sufficient you know they've got 73 millimeter main guns they've got atgms so hopefully i'll not need anything too crazy right here All right, we're going to get these guys out in the open. And I'm just ready to press U here at any moment because uh, U is what's going to unload those guys. So if I see a rocket go off, I'm going to unload that infantry pretty quick because if I lose one of these BMP ones now, not only do I lose the vehicle, but I also, of course, lose the infantry inside of it. How are these guys doing? Oh, come on. You didn't land. Land. Okay, I'll have these guys unload now. Hopefully these guys will be able to run across here. Ah, dang it. That is some intense range. Killing one guy. Yeah, that is nuts. Okay. You know what? You want to play this game? Fine. We could play this game. I've been wanting to bring in more artillery anyway. I might have to get a, a vehicle in here to bring in a, one extra guy to fill the ranks. Actually, they're going to force me to go with some tanks. We'll just meet them with T-55s. I don't need anything too crazy up here like T-80s. I feel like... It'll be more uh, quantity than anything else here is what's going to be important. Because I don't think they have anything, or at least it does not seem like they have anything to really uh, take out any armor up here. Here we go. Just this one supply vehicle. Oh, we'll get two. Because I'm sure some of these guys will need to get refueled here but there still should be enough for just one person okay we're, we're gonna use these guys as bait here fire position we'll see where this guy is there he is okay fall back fall back lost another guy one guy dead now, I doubt he's going to move. Will this plan work? Yes. Man. 
there's anybody else here. We'll get these guys to stop. We're gonna we're gonna execute that same plan. I mean they can they can hide, but as soon as they get some rounds off, here comes uh, the artillery to take them out. Okay. Little strokies. Come on, you guys will get the extra two here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So these guys, we'll, we'll get them back in their BMP1s if we need them. But I might have these guys kind of just run around the perimeter here to make sure that it is clear. So they can take a little bit more damage and than anybody else here. Gosh. Everything's like blowing up here on my computer. Hopefully, I'll be able to make it. I mean, 36 minutes in. Still got a long way to go here. All right, with Leonid Sector up there. Got all of our choppers in here now. So what I'll do one more time here. We'll kind of move out to the edge here. Again, if I come under fire, I'll be able to get my self-propelled artillery to take these guys out. All quiet so far. Cool. All right, so they're going to engage some infantry near the forward operating base to the west. We've got some T-62s that are in the trees right here. Ah, oh, dang it. Of course there's infantry. Well, guess I don't have to worry about those guys. Everybody seemed to open up on them. But there's the artillery ready just in case. Yeah, those guys were in a bad position. Probably shouldn't have... Uh, Fired at us right there. And we took out the T-62s. Wow, that was not that bad of an engagement. Let's keep moving up here. Okay, so now we're off the hill. We're going to stay over those clump of trees so we can kind of stay up higher a little bit more. Those OT-64 is off of the distance. I don't think we're really going to be able to hit these guys with the ATGMs because they're going to be so inaccurate. Why don't I even say anything? <laughs> First one <laughs> took out an OT-64. Yeah, we'll just keep moving up here. Oh, we've got infantry in these trees, too. Alright. Self-propelled artillery to the rescue. Never mind. Okay, we'll keep moving up here. My thing I'm worried about here is uh, this town that we've got. There could be some infantry in there as well. I don't think we took too much damage though from encountering that infantry. Ah, that's going to be frustrating. These OT-64s are going to get repaired because they're within the forward operating base uh, within its range, which means one, they're sucking dry some of the resources that are there, but they're also much tougher to kill because they'll instantaneously be repaired. Okay, come on, man. Someone's got to hit him. Perfect. Okay, this guy up here. We'll take him. And then we may take the risk of landing next to this forward operating base to the west. Oh, that was the command unit. All right. Perfect. Okay, this area looks like it's clear. Oh, who's he firing at? I have no idea. Let's keep him here to the west and to the south of this forward operating base. Move the MI2 up here as well. Get closer to the city. We'll spot if anybody's there. Once we get resupplied, we can move pretty quick on to the next one. Oh, we've got some infantry that's that's over there. And there, too. Glad I moved up the MI2. Yeah, make short work of these guys. OK, 
Okay, the eight that are over there. Rocket should take him out, I hope. No, we're not firing rockets. I mean, these MI-24Ds should have some. There we go. Boom. Okay, now we should be clear. Land. Get rearmed, guys. Wow, I'm already at almost, almost 600 command uh, points here, which would be nice to spend. Okay, I'm going to have to move these guys to a different location so they can land. All right. Now I'll have to bring in a command unit of my own here to capture this. And then that's even more command points on a regular basis for me too. So let's bring him in now. I'll take the risk of just kind of popping him right there. Those those buildings, there could be some infantry in there, but I feel like we would have spotted them as that MI2 moved up, just like we saw that infantry on the other side of the city. Okay, the MI-24s on the right are being repaired. MI-24Ps to the north are getting their ATGMs. And then these MI-24s are good to go. Everybody's good to go now. You know, I might be able to bring in some more helicopters just in case. Actually, that could make... Okay, I was going to say, he's taking a different path than I thought he was going to take. Okay, Constantine, Elena... Constantine will probably be I mean, I don't know if I'll take Elena. It gives me no No real benefit. It's completely on the other side of the map of Where I'm supposed to be it's in the northeast, but it seems like more to the West Center is where the the point of the refinery is that we have to take Okay Lena is burning and yet it is beautiful because it's giving me more resources Got one more full forward operating base that I can use for all of this as well. So that'll be helpful. Yeah, see, there's Gregory. Gregory is, is the objective that I've got to take here for the refinery. MI2, of course, taking the lead. The hope is that I can turn back in time here, and we've got the MI24s who can use their rockets or or uh, whatever it need or they need to take out whatever we find. Again, we're going to hug the edge of the map. So we're going to head to the north, use this clump of trees. We've already spotted some T-55s. Got Vulcan. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to be careful of. Now, I might be able to engage him in a longer range. My missiles should be able to go farther here. My rockets, too, than what, what the guns on that Vulcan can hit us with. Okay, jump back up by my 24s. Oh, it's just one Vulcan there, too? We're hitting it from the side, so it should go pretty quick as long as I can get those hits. There we go. All right, now I'm feeling better. All right, let's move up here where we had originally planned to move. See the command vehicle there. It looks like it's armored, that M577. Got a V-150 in there. I thought I saw two M-901s. Yeah, taking out their only AA. It's probably the smartest thing I could have done. All right, one T-55 down. Move up a little bit closer here to get better accuracy on my weapons. There goes the other T-55. Oh, I missed. That one looked like it literally went right through him. But there we go. All right. Let's get closer. So then I can bring in yet another command vehicle. And we've got all the points here to the north that are going to provide me extra resources. Okay, he's down... Let's get these two M901s taken care of. If we absolutely have to, we can try and, and come back here, but seriously, that shouldn't be a problem. Gosh. 
Can you imagine if that was in your backyard like those guys? Like these houses here? Just see explosions and then fuel burning like this. Oh, there's a BRM1K. Yeah, let's take that out too if we get a chance. We'll just stick at the swamps. We'll bring him in right there. Gosh, and they got upgraded to level 4 too. Got a couple of my guys that got upgraded to level 4. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the forward operating base. Once we got Constantine captured, I'll try and go around to what would be the... I guess this is the north side. I've been looking at this the completely wrong direction the entire time. I did not realize that till now. Here I am saying to the west, but it's the direction that I'm looking at, the relative west as opposed to the actual west. Not looking at the minimap really above. Should probably do that a little bit more. Nothing having come down this road here for some time. Considering moving up the VDV units a little bit more and maybe even making a little bit of a stepping stone as far as units go to get right to the edge of the refinery. Those gunships that are just hovering there in the open make a prime target for me to move uh, some of my AA to it. Now I know exactly where they are. And knowing what their range is, I wouldn't be surprised if Strellas would be able to hit them. And that could be... I might want to do infantry for that. As opposed to the Strella support vehicles. But not going to worry about that now. Okay. Still looking good. This is the last group here that needs to get taken care of. They're just about finished. Kind of move through this area and see, see what's over here. I mean, these choppers have been doing so well for me so far. It's really because of them. We hold the west and the north. Wait, maybe I was right. Gosh, I'm... Was right. Was west. Was north. Oh, well. <laughs> Gosh. Told you this was going to be a marathon, guys. I'm definitely feeling it. We're at 48 minutes. We still got to clear the rest of this out and then make our push on Gregory. We're just going to look and see what's in Elena here. Hugging the edge of the map. At least I know my north is covered. And my west. It's just like these clump of trees around here. That's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that could be hiding in there, of course. Not expecting any, uh, any command units or anything in Elena, but I don't know if anything was like pre-placed here. It doesn't look like that's the case. Move up to this first clump of trees. Now, this is definitely at a lower elevation than the actual refinery is, so maybe I will capture this just to kind of help this be a a good point to take. There's actually... Oh, what's that down there? We've got some vehicles there we might be able to hit. And we do have one more point in the refinery to take, so just for kicks... Go ahead and get that. We're almost at a thousand. There we go. There's a thousand. So I could bring in so many forces right now if I had to. Like I could rush. Rush it here and, and make it out okay. But since I want to try to see if I can do it without losing 10 units. And I don't think I've lost anybody yet. I could be wrong. I don't recall losing anybody. I'm going to take these recon choppers. Knowing that we've got a lot of, of area around here secure, I'm going to try and... Yeah, let's pop him back here because I don't want to move that far forward. Try to see if we can get a good eye 
on what's going on around Gregory and other places like this too. Yeah, same thing. I don't want to put him in a position where I'm not sure it's clear. Okay, this way we can keep eyes and ears over the area that we've kind of covered. Here's the UAZ that just came in. Now, if I could do or take the eastern part, which is kind of what I'm gunning for right here, um, I definitely want to try that. I just don't want to do it here with my helicopters if I can avoid it, purely because of the amount of supplies that's going to take up. And who knows, I might need more. So we'll bring in the, the handy dandy self-propelled artillery here. We'll kind of walk this artillery down these units here if at all possible. Plus I could also bring in uh, some other tanks and stuff like that too. Cause like this would be a decent opportunity for T-80s to kind of show off some of their stuff here. And I've got all these extra command points to spend and I could bring in the top tier troops. Bring them over here. Should probably give these guys some escort and stuff like that, but uh, I think they'll be fine. I guess the one concern that I've got here is is this clear? Alright, we'll we'll get them some cover here. Let's bring in these these T80s. Let's bring in four of them. They'll kind of be the, the cover directly in front of my self-propelled artillery. We'll bring in some Strellas here too, just in case they they have some some air and they decide to send it our way. Ooh, anti-aircraft missiles. Yep, that's why I didn't rush the helicopters in. Oh, I'm glad I was smart about that. It'll take a, a bit for us to get those those rounds zeroed. We could see some damage as soon as now, actually. Yep. And the 2K12s will be my, my big concern here. If I take those out, then I can just bring in helicopters to take out the BRM-1K. Ooh, almost there. This might do it. For both, actually. Oh, never mind. There we go. Alright, you guys can stop. Uh, T64 and T55. I'm half tempted to just move the T80s in. Let's just keep going, try and soften up these guys here a little bit. We'll get some infantry here too. Um, these guys, I uh, no. See, the thing that's nice about the Motostrelkies is you do get the BMP ones, which are very helpful. Uh, I think you get the best balance with these guys than, than anybody else here because you do have the air to ground missiles, which is, uh, is nice uh, on the BMP ones. And then you've also got more shorter range stuff with your RPG sevens and stuff like that. Oh, it says they have a law. Interesting. All right, we'll pop these guys over on the right here because there's a a strip of trees, and if I remember right, it's like kind of more towards the middle. Um, if I remember right, I think there's some guys in there. We'll, we'll figure out here in just a bit. See, this is what I like. Being able to bring in these units. Don't get me wrong. I know the helicopters are offense, or, uh, are efficient. But I like the, the mass troops here. Gosh. 55 minutes in, guys. Okay. The word is swordfish. 
don't forget what I said at the beginning, guys. That's what it is. Swordfish. Okay, uh, with these guys here, using the lower elevation is key. Uh, it's just like what I was saying at the beginning, too, when it comes to the infantry. They can just pop up and take some of these guys out. So that's what I'm going to do here uh, with this group. Now, the the missiles that they have, definitely longer range than what you're going to find with an RPG uh, that you're going to find with, like, the Motostrelkies or anything like that. So uh, I'll use the, the Motostrelkies here as kind of, like, defensive and use these anti-tank teams for something a, a little bit farther away here. Kind of use them more offensive if needed. Same time, I could also get the BMPs to roll up too. And spam them with missiles if I need. But, all right, here we go. Let's see if this will actually do anything. There's four missiles for one T-64. And, oh, one hit. Hey, that's not bad. Let's try this again. Come on, somebody hit. Nice. You guys are not half bad. Okay, let's see how these guys do. I might have to get a supply vehicle or two in here for these guys also. Yeah, what's these T-80s come up? Game over for these T-55s. Oh. Oh, that one hooked around. I'm like total miss right there, guys. Total miss. Seriously, out of the park, guys. Let's get these guys out of their, their vehicles. I think BTRs and BMPs is what these guys have. I'll kind of have a move over here. All right, is, is this area clear? Might have to move up here. That's the other thing is I want to get the infantry in there just to kind of start occupying some buildings around that point so we can have that captured if we need. It'll take a while for these guys to get to where they need to go. Oh, yeah. Recon chopper moved up. We've got more. Oh, jeez, those guys are getting fried. Back up, back up. Back up. Oh, I lost a whole unit. I'm surprised it all came from one unit, to be honest. That's kind of cheap. You'd think it'd be spread out against multiple units, but... All right. Well, I wasn't paying attention that time, so I didn't have the self-propelled artillery ready. Because I'd be bombarding their position right now. But I don't want to risk sending another group of these guys on up. Now that looks like, too, that it was anti-air. That opened up on them, like some ZSUs or, or something like that. So I can't bring a recon chopper in. I don't want to risk tanks there if I can avoid it. We'll, we'll let the infantry do their job. I guess I could just try and scatter that area too but let's just move these guys in just for something a little bit different okay find a good position here for these t-80s i think that should be kind of sufficient here but these btr 70s and the brdm2 past it we might be able to put those guys out in the open okay i'm gonna watch this infantry carefully See, look at that, man. All of that just from one one squad, basically, is what it was that I lost there. Everybody from the same squad. Everybody. Considering there was, like, three vehicles or something like that that were opening up on them. Okay, slow and steady. We'll have the advantage. Yep, there's the ZSUs. Oh, gosh. Fire, guys. Yeah, we're losing a lot here. See, now this time, it's the casualties are scattered out. Oh, they missed seriously. OK, 
Okay. Taking down another one. Jeez. Okay, there's one more. Oh, there's two more. These guys definitely deserve, like... The Polish Epicness Award here for going through these trees, taking out all these ZSUs for engaging them at like point blank. Come on, guys, get your reloads in. There we go. Alright, already going off. Took out everything over there. Alright, so we'll stop. T64 is up there. Do we try and do that with the infantry or with the T80s? After what's happened right here, gosh, I lost three units. Fall back. That's 30% of my total casualties just right there. I mean, casualties that I don't want to have for getting that extra objective here at the end. But I'm back to 1,000. I mean, you know, I probably could. Yeah, let's just get these guys back over there. I mean, I was thinking what I could do is I could bring the MI-8s around to pick them up, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. We'll have a couple supply vehicles there just to get more guys to the squads that have lost them. Is that it, though? Just these two T-64s? Um, we'll move him there. That should get him some cover. These guys are moving together. All right, infantry's coming back. Haven't taken any fire. Oh, I just noticed we had a BM-21 kind of showing off to the right there. Yeah, T-80s will, will definitely be the ones to engage the T-64s. But hey. Haven't been able to use them too much. Oh, T-64s are charging us. That's a bad idea. Now that we're in cover here, especially too. Firing while the T-64s are on the move. Let's get the helicopters in. These guys will be able to start opening up here pretty soon too. This is just all around bad move for the T-64s, going up against everything that I've got. Oh, you hit my front armor. Yeah, let's get the MI-24s in. Infantry is starting to fire too. So we just got that one T-62 left. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, we got the area covered. Maybe I can have these guys kind of and I wouldn't take the T-80s in there. I'm not going to take the choppers in either. Let's let's pull back. Okay, we've got this area secure. So I'm pretty confident that we've got this surrounded. So now, it's going to be time here in just a second. Start moving in on the actual refinery itself. Okay, we'll put the UAZ there. Because I do want to capture Fedora there. So we've had these guys just lounging around here in their PT, uh, BTRs here from the beginning. Okay, Strellas, we're going to move these guys uh, right here. We're going to go for those uh, QE gunships. The idea is if we could take them down, that might help us kind of move it up in, in this direction here. I'm going to use the buildings to my advantage. You'll see kind of what I have planned here for this part. Is it worth trying to go over just for that one rocket system? Okay, now these buildings, if I can use them for cover, I might be able to poke my head out and take out the, the Huey gunships. That's the idea here anyway. But there's a clump of trees that they're right above. There's a number of buildings where infantry could be holding up. So even if I, I take these guys out, I probably am not going to want to like rush them with helicopters or anything like that or even just try to be too selective because I feel like I'm going to lose some of those guys and air is definitely important here. It's one thing I, I do not want to lose. Okay, 
Okay, so this this front building, that's what I'm gonna use use for cover. I'm periodically, you saw, I was kind of checking what the range was and how much farther they had to go. Okay. Oh, they went through everything. That's why. Okay. We need to get more trucks in here. We'll get four in there. That'll get everybody taken care of. There was a lot of fuel that was. Uh, Used up by some of those guys there. Alright. Estrella's you beautiful babies. Oh, that's like perfect. Okay, here we go. We're opening fire on him. First one's a miss. Come on, get the hits. Nice. Oh, two for one. Okay, those guys are bailing. Ooh, we took out two of them. Ah, there they are. Is it worth trying to pursue them, though? Hmm. That's the real question. Maybe what I can do is move up to this building. Yeah, we'll move him there. And then we'll move the Strela here that's got... Four squads instead of the three. We'll move them off to the right. Maybe they'll be in range of the Huey gunships. Okay, the Strela group off to the left here isn't engaging anybody. I mean, these guys have moved way ahead of the force. So if they come under attack, they're not getting any reinforcements. At least not for a while while we try and wait to rush some guys up. So you know what, these guys I might be able. Yeah, let's get we'll get in the parking lot right here and the other side of the road. We'll get everybody together, because if we can come around here, it's just that one one group looks like a storage tanks or something like that that's in our way. So that's good to know here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Those Strellas are opening up. So are these guys. We got them both. That's some ninja stuff right there. Okay, we'll get these guys to fall back because I don't see the need for any other Strellas right now. VDV, on the other hand. I mean, I could try to just straight up send some infantry into that clump of trees maybe pop out on the other side take out the brdm that's the command vehicle but you know that's actually not a priority of mine to take out because there's nowhere where they can reinsert units now that we've taken every single position minus the the other one in the refinery but there is no reinsert points that they have here so i reached the objective that i had personally set for myself at the very beginning of this which was to make it so that way the only forces I'd have to be concerned with were those that were on the map. Yeah, I don't want to rush these guys. Let's let's get some more some more infantry in. Okay, supply vehicles just getting there. What great timing that one was. And then these survivors that we have, I mean, these guys I might throw back into the refinery. Just kind of hold it for this UAZ command vehicle I've got right here. That shouldn't take that much longer. This better be enough. As far as supplies go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I could have them just hop in uh, in those vehicles and have them transport back that way. But that's only just for part of the group. Now, since I didn't take any fire at those buildings, that's where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put them. That way, I might be able to take some pot shots at 
and a few of the things that are in there. I highly doubt they're going to get the command vehicle, but the BRDM-2s off to the left of that forward operating base. I feel like that those guys will be able to get some shots there. We'll go incremental here in their advance again. I mean, knowing that those helicopters are a non-issue at this point here means I should get a little bit closer than I did before if I absolutely needed to. But I don't think I'm going to move up to, to any of those buildings. Part of me doesn't even want to move in from this direction. Like I might want to try from the north or from the left, actually. Because I feel like the game wants you to come this way. Just because of the sheer amount of forces that are probably hidden here. It'll make you pay for a frontal assault. And actually, from a tactical standpoint, too, that kind of makes sense that you'd be expecting them to, to be coming from the south here. Yeah, moving the MI2 up. I'm just... I'm not seeing anything else. I, I probably have to be right on top of those guys. I feel like with the MI2 to be able to see them. All right, we'll move up to that building here. So that looks like that might have a clear line of sight to those three BRDMs. Well, these trees are probably clear. We'll move this uh, SPW-60 up. I mean, these vehicles... Yeah, they're great for transporting, but I use them more actually as uh, my canary, so to speak. They're the ones that kind of move up, and if they die, oh well. At least I know there's some trouble. Okay, they're not going to really be able to see if I can hit them until I get into that building. It makes sense. It's not like I can just shoot through the building. But now, since we've got over 2,000 points, let's get some more helicopters here. We'll actually probably get all of them. So we'll get these MI-24As, Ps. Oh, they've opened up. First missile misses. Second and third hit. Just got one more. Yeah, one of those four should hit it. Hmm. I can't go left. Because remember, we had some forces over here fire at us. I feel like I can't go right. See, this is where it would be nice to just have artillery. And that way I could just slam some artillery into those wooded areas here. Hmm. What to do? I highly doubt I'll need need it, but let's start moving that infantry up here. Maybe you go here, and then that should be a good start anyway. Okay. I absolutely need to. We can take those MI-8s, maybe get them around. The areas at least that I know that I've got covered, so we can kind of move to the west, to the north, kind of circle around here and pick up some forces over there if we need to, just some of that infantry, and bring them over here. But I don't think that's going to be, be too necessary. Oh, yeah. Let's do this instead. Let's load up the Strellas that I had here into these choppers. And then I can bring those guys to the other side because I'm not using them right now. We can actually try just because I, I don't have MI8s already picked. Like selected in my deck to be able to use. Um, I could be a little bit more risky with them. Like I was debating actually going south and then moving around here to the east. Just to make sure I do have the east completely clear. Okay, still nothing from those guys. We'll put one recon chopper right there. Then the UAZ, I might be able to start moving up here. 
we we'll get those ATGM teams moved up here. They'll kind of be taking up the rear here as we've got the UAZ moving in between the, the two infantry units that we had already pushed in. All right, the dangerous part here is just going around the refinery. We'll go up to Ivan. We'll move to Elena. We'll kind of move him down to an area that's a little bit better for him. Okay, helicopter there. I think I've got just one more recon chopper. All right, with this one here, I'm just going to stay on the edge. I mean, I haven't cleared it as far as like moving in there and going building by building, making sure that there's no enemy there, and I'm not going to either. That's just going to be a waste of time. And I'll be honest, me taking that particular point is probably just a giant waste of time. I mean, the, the two command points are really not going to do that much good for me when I've already got 2,200, almost 2,300 command points waiting to spend. MI-8s are still good, especially when it comes to fuel. All right. Um, you know what? We'll bring him in to try and take out... The BM-21 grad. Now, it is a soft target. So, it, it, it'll probably take a long time, but he'll take him out. Okay, so we've got that. BM-21's getting taken care of. It should be taken care of. There he is. See, there's the SPW-60. I like the camo scheme, not going to lie. Okay, who's he engaging? Oh, he does have rockets. I could just bypass the BM Penny, BM 21, which I'm doing here, but I was thinking about turning around and engaging him with, with the rockets that I have. It is kind of nice that they, that these uh, MI8s do have the rockets on there. That way they can defend themselves, but. Still, I don't do much transportation of infantry after their initial deployment. So I'll use their vehicles to kind of get them in there. But in a lot of cases, I mean a lot of cases, um, I really don't use them too much after the fact. I use infantry a lot for defense. Okay, yeah, that's going to take a while, as you can see. All right, let's focus on the refinery here, though. I'm going to use this vehicle here for the same thing that I kind of mentioned earlier. It's going to be my test subject here. What I'm doing is trying to plan a route. There we go. I'm going to try and plan a route for him here to get into the refinery and hit some of these guys from behind so looking at where my mi2 is this clump of trees i'm moving the spw 60 down here i'm going to start bringing some infantry in as well because infantry is going to be key in that fight i feel like yeah so we're going to go from the the bottom of this we're going to move up to where the mi2 is and we're going to jump to the swamp uh, right above it, then to the clump of trees, right above that, and then start using some of the buildings for cover here. Yeah, sorry, MI8s, you came too little too late. Maybe I'll drop them off there. Like I said, I can lose these MI8s and be fine. I'm not going to be able to use them in a, a future mission or anything like that. Alright, let's get some more infantry. Those guys are, gosh, long range. I thought I would have had, had more of them. I have the concurs up there. I can use them if I need to. 
Obviously, Moto Stroke is going to be a huge part of this. We'll get eight. Okay, so that's going to be a lot of infantry. Um, I don't have anything AA, which you may have noticed. Don't think that's going to be an issue still to this point. Uh, so I'm probably not going to really worry about Strellas, but I might start purchasing some just cheap tanks and use them. Again, quantity will kind of be the factor over quality at that close range. I'm not bringing in any expensive tanks. If I lose some T-55s or even some T-62s, I'm not going to be that mad. Infantry will be able to come in and probably open up on them. Not too soon after. Alright, let's just get the Strellas in there. The MI-8s, we'll just go ahead and move them back. With the rest of the group here. Gosh, I still have 2,500 command points to spend. I could throw in all of my tanks and just rush them in. But let's be smart. I've been tactical or try to be strategic, I guess, is the way to put it. Not necessarily tactical. I've been strategic thus far. It served me pretty well. I think the only only real issue that I had was those infantry being lost to the AA up there. That was pretty unfortunate. Especially since I shouldn't have taken just a straight path to where I wanted to go. Should have moved around. But hindsight's twenty twenty. You know what? Not going to dwell on it really here too much at all. All right, having gotten the infantry out, the vehicles are going to be moving up here. I'm pretty sure that we have this cleared, but, man, look at these guys go. That is pretty sweet to see all the infantry and the the vehicles kind of pushing up with them here. Uh, that's pretty epic. Polish and Soviets out in full force today, guys. Chances are we're not going to use most of these guys either. Yeah, better be safe than sorry. Okay, if there is anybody in these trees, we're going to find out here pretty quick. Here, let's bring in the 10 T-55s that I've got. Oh, we'll just do eight. Now I'm going to place them in that position too. Um, the main reason is I know the path that works, so let's just keep moving that way and not try and go another path where I might be engaged by some infantry that are hiding somewhere. Okay. Cool. These guys are there. We'll get, we'll wait for the infantry tanks are coming in. I might have them link up. Along with the supply vehicles, fuel shouldn't be a problem at this point. But I'm not going to put it past some of these vehicles here to be having some engine or uh, some fuel issues at this point. Cool. We've got the helicopters coming in here also. MI2 hasn't spotted anybody. That's actually pretty surprising. Bring these guys over here too. Get them resupplied at those forward operating bases, which I'm surprised have not been completely used up yet. Okay. Let's get all these guys kind of moved up here. Again, we're moving up to that swamp. So it's just going to be out in the open. If there is anybody out here, this is when we'll, we'll spot them. So I'm going to send the vehicle first. Moment of truth here as it exits the forest. Goes to the swamp. No fire. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right, infantry moving. We'll get some of these vehicles now. 
Gosh, there's like... I'm just going one at a time here. There really wasn't too many opportunities I felt like to kind of like double click what I'm doing with the T55s here and with the Urals. Just kind of group them up here. And yeah, getting a cover right here. I don't think... Oh, I do have to secure it, secure it. Okay, so that's going to mean I'll have to bring in a, a vehicle. All right, again, that guy's made it so far. Have him cross this road. Still good. No, 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 no. You stay back. The times I checked the minimap. Oh, that would have been bad. We broke 3,000, guys. All right, motor truck is going first, as you can see. I could probably bring up my recon chopper here, too. I mean, that might be in the cards here at some point. Getting flashbacks of what we saw earlier, though. Having these, the infantry kind of move out and try and clear it, but my vehicle here is doing a good enough job kind of leading the way. Surely he would, would take the brunt of any fire. Nice. Okay. Got this area clear. Let's try and move up to those buildings that you just saw. So we'll keep heading in this direction. Those just large silos is basically where we'll go. Okay. Here's another, another risky move. Again, going out in the open. Really, nobody. That surprises me. I felt like I would have taken at least some fire from those trees to, uh, to the relative north here. Gosh, all those Urals. They're going so slow. So many of them are stuck in the mud. Okay, infantry. Um, maybe I'll have the vehicles go first. Alright. Let's pop that guy in there. He's got the more long range. I don't think you'll be able to take out that BRDM up there. Because then you've got all those other silos that are potentially in the way. So I might have to move him to that swamp to the left of those silos. Maybe I'll push him as far as the SPW-60 here. Oh, look at him. Sidestepping there. These guys have got skills. They know what's up. You know what? Taking cover here will probably be the smart choice. Because now I can start moving them into some of these buildings here. Uh, maybe one more up is what I got to do. Ah, dang it. Really? Okay. We have to keep moving up here. These buildings just keep getting in the way. Yeah, let's get going. Oh my gosh. I keep thinking I'm almost there. Okay, well, they're going to have some reinforcements coming up behind them. This BRDM 2U is the only thing that I see out here. I feel like I'm being way too conservative here. I mean, I've got nothing really to suggest that there's going to be a lot of enemy units here. 
Um, especially, too, when this is also supposed to be the first objective. I kind of did things out of order, but I just thought strategically, let's cut off uh, the enemy from being able to reinforce this position rather than go with a straight frontal assault. It proved to work, but like I said, I think it's also forcing me to be way more cautious than I normally would. All right, Polish are moving up. And so will my Soviet forces here. They're going to occupy these trees. Nothing. Oh, wait, we've got PT-76Bs up there. Oh, stay there. They haven't hit us yet. Okay, we're opening up on them. Oh, uh, we got... Oh, they totally took out one whole group. Okay, this ain't good. Um, let's get these guys in here. Wow, that was like painful. Now nah, we'll take another shot at him. Why not? Oh, I was like, what was that? That's my guy. But since there's only one one team here of five, this is going to be pretty slow going. Unless they hit guys like that every time. Yeah, way off to the left. That'd be sweet if that one hooked around and came back. Or like, you know how some of those, those missiles, they just fly straight up. It'd be cool if one flew up and came straight down. Ah, oh, that... Dang it. Kind of like that one. Just comes straight down and hits the target. This is all part of the plan. Okay, we're going to move up here. Maybe get into a better position. And get all these guys that we have here into the fight. Let's get the UAZ taken care of too. Especially now that there is not a command vehicle in here. I know just the spot where I want to put them because my vehicle that I just placed, that one is, is not being attacked here. So this will be a good place for the UAZ to go. I feel like rushing in here with the choppers, but again, man, those things are important. Especially one of the missions that are coming up here in a bit. It's uh, it's supposed to be one where you have to like push your own guys from one point of the map to the other. And if you don't get them through the map, you cannot use them in the next mission. So it's like if you don't get them to their objective, they're basically dead. Which makes for a pretty cool concept and a pretty cool mission, but... Ah, oh, T-62s. Okay. We've got a lot of guys who should be able to take him out here. And that's why those MI-24s are coming in. Gosh, I lost another one. I mean, how are my guys not firing back? Like, these T-55s. Nothing. Why is it so hard to kill these guys, too? It's a ton of rockets from MI-24s, a ton of shots from T-55s. Seriously, we're missing, like, nothing else. How many hits is that guy taking? Thank you. Oh, man. To be honest... That's going to make me pretty close to 10. And I can't lose 10 units if I want to get that side objective. Okay, where is he? Here's the UAZ. 
How did I not spot that those T62s? It makes me wonder if there's other uh, armor like that just elsewhere on this map. A couple vehicles burning there. Part of me just wants to rush into Gregory here, but I guess not when I'm this close. There we go. He's made it through the first set of woods. Now he's going to make it through the swamp. Now he's going to head into this set of woods. And then we're going to move him to the end here where, again, following the path that that SPW uh, 60 had made here. We'll get to that position. Then we'll have it captured. And that should be should be the mission because uh, to capture the position is different to clear the position for sure and having taken out their command vehicle should be peace gate okay well then we'll move him next to the spw i guess if i need absolutely needed to and i don't not even close i could try to take that forward operating base and resupply but I've got more units I could bring in at this point it would be better to bring in new ones than it would be to try and take a fob alright he's there he's in the zone nice we got Gregory Let's see what else we got eliminate any HQ did that I mean, any, yeah. That showed the same thing twice. Okay, that is the mission. And if it's early in the morning as it is, I'm not even sad about that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to get going to, to sleep now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe. I doubt we're going to have many more marathons like this here moving forward. I could be wrong. I don't think we'll, we'll have some quite like this. If so, I'll be dreading those. Anyway, feel free to join our Discord. Let me know what you thought about this mission or any other missions that you see here on this channel of a number of different types. I'd love to have uh, your voice added to the conversation, of course. Uh, two, if you can support the channel through Patreon, please do. It does a lot to be able to help out what we do around here. Uh, your contributions do go a long way. But thanks again for watching, you guys. War as hell. You don't have to worry because warfighters, I've got your six.